Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go through the steps to allow IAM user to access the billing page in the AWS console. So first of all, let's uh, create a IAM user. So let's call it user1 and we want to, here you have the option to select the access type, whether it is a programmatic user or a console user, depending upon that, whether you will create a password or you would need a access key and the secret key I, keys uh, for accessing it through the SDK APIs or CLI. So for now, let's just go with uh, a management console user and uh, let's just create a password for it. So I'm just going to disable that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep that password for now. And next is uh, the permissions. So I'm going to pick a uh, the admin level um, a managed policy from here. So filter it. So it I'm giving it a administrator access. So basically it would have access to everything. And then you will see uh, even though uh, this user is a admin uh, level user. It still does not have access to the billing uh, portal. So let's just complete the user uh, creation process. <coughs> All right, so the user is created and here it uh, gives you uh, the URL to log in as that user. So user one and the password. All right, so as I said, this is a, and you can see here, this is, I'm logged in as user one, and it it does have admin level privileges, but let's now go and see, can I access the billing dashboard? All right, so when I come to the billing dashboard, it uh, says access denied. Now let's d take the steps to, to allow these uh, users to access the billing portal. So I'm using uh, two different uh, browsers here. One where I'm logged in as a as a root with a root account, and another where I just logged in as a user, uh, which we just created, so that uh, I don't have to sw sign out and sign back in. So now let's uh, go to uh, the through the steps. How do we enable access to the billing page for for the IAM users? Go to my account here. And further to IAM user and role access to the billing information. So click on edit here. And this is what you have to do basically activate the IAM access to the billing portal. So this would allow all IAM users to be able to access uh, the billing information. So just uh, say update here. So billing information is activated. So let's now go back into uh, the user account and see if the user is able to access uh, the billing port. So I'm just going to uh, refresh uh, this user login here and now let's go to the billing dashboard. So here as you can see now the user which we just created as a IAM user is, is has access to the billing portal. So this is what uh, is required to uh, set up uh, the billing access for the users. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining and hopefully you have enjoyed the video.